arriving to make known his new decisions on Vietnam to a highly tensed Washington press conference, which is attended by his family, President Johnson explains the reasons for his actions in these historic words. We intend to convince the communists that we cannot be defeated by force of arms or by superior power. They're not easily convinced. In recent months, they have greatly increased their fighting forces and their attacks and the numbers of incidents. I have asked the commanding general, General Westmoreland, what more he needs to meet this mounting aggression. He has told me, and we will meet his needs. I have today ordered to Vietnam the Air Mobile Division and certain other forces which will raise our fighting strength from 75,000 to 125,000 men almost immediately. Additional forces will be needed later, and they will be sent as requested. This will make it necessary to increase our active fighting forces by raising the monthly draft call from 17,000 over a period of time to 35,000 per month, and for us to step up our campaign for our voluntary enlistments. Once the communists know, as we know, that a violent solution is impossible, then a peaceful solution is inevitable. I've spoken many times of our objectives in Vietnam. So has the government of South Vietnam. Hanoi has set forth its own proposals. We are ready to discuss their proposals and our proposals, and any proposals of any government whose people may be affected. For we fear the meeting room no more than we fear the battlefield. And in this pursuit, we welcome and we ask for the concern and the assistance of any nation and all nations.